Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Tuesday's announcement obviously was not very thrilling news, the sun setting of Hearthstone Mercenaries. So I figured I would make a video talking a little bit about, well, what's going to happen to this channel? What am I going to do now? The announcement itself... After these updates, we will be focusing on making Hearthstone and Battlegrounds modes the best they can be. Mercenaries will continue to get support for bug fixes and periodic balance changes as needed, but no further regular content updates. Well, that, that's one way to kill your game. On the other hand, Mercenaries will still be in the client, and the mythic boss rush is coming, and I will definitely be experimenting with how to create content about mythic boss rush. I just don't know if that if there's going to be viewers for that. Like... Events. Events. Mercenaries events were basically what this channel thrived on. Event videos regularly got more than 20,000 views each. There were several videos of 20,000 plus views whenever there was an event. Also, you could see that the player base, the player numbers peaked with mercenaries whenever there was an event. But now Blizzard won't be doing any of that. Will Mythic Boss Rush keep people around? Mythic Boss Rush requires a bunch of maxed mercenaries, probably. So... I'm not sure if people will stick around and be playing that. But obviously I have gone this far with mercenaries and I intend to see it all the way through, so I am going to be making some mythic boss rush videos, that's for sure. But what else? Well, I have done some standard videos all along, and I believe I will continue doing those. The channel, after all, is eight years old. It's not like this channel came to be with mercenaries. It was just that it got more popular with mercenaries. But I'll still keep doing standard stuff, but I don't expect that my channel is going to rise up to become a great standard channel, really popular standard channel. Just just doesn't seem to be in the cards. I also tried to do Battlegrounds when it was new. For the first few months I was on the leaderboards in Battlegrounds, I was in top 50 but that didn't attract any viewers, so I just don't think Battlegrounds is kind of a game mode that suits my content anyway. So there will be some more Mercenary stuff coming, there will be some more Standard Hearthstone stuff coming, then what else? Blizzard has now launched this new creator program for Hearthstone content creators, and I as a YouTuber am eligible for this program. And the criteria, at least 60% of content needs to be Hearthstone related at least 5,000 YouTube subscribers. Well, 60% of content needs to be Hearthstone related. That kind of means that if I want to stay in this program, then I can't really pivot to another game. Not on this channel anyway. But there might be some alternatives. Obviously, I have been into Warcraft Arclight Rumble. Arclight Rumble is sort of, sort of what mercenaries could have been. It has all these boss fights, these puzzles that you're solving. Of course, it is a real-time game, and it's not a turn-based game like mercenaries, so there are plenty of differences as well. But the puzzle aspect of Arclight Rumble is there. On the other hand, I still don't know when Arclight Rumble is going to be released. It was supposed to release in select regions last year. And well, it sort of did. The closed beta has a lot of people from select regions, like from Australia. But it's still a closed beta. And there's also been talk about Arclight Rumble coming out as a soft launch in select regions. So when it comes out, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to even play. And that's a big question. And who is going to... <laughs> are there enough viewers who are going to be able to play? And when is it going to come out? There are just so many questions about Arclight Rumble. And I can't just like sit around and wait for a year to see is it coming or is it not. If it comes, hey, great. I'm still going to be making some news videos about Arclight Rumble on this channel. See, watch its progress. And once it's out, I might consider also like founding a new Arclight Rumble channel so that I could stay in the Hearthstone Creator program as well, because otherwise I would just be dropped out of that program, I suppose. So Rumble... Yeah, following on this channel for now, maybe a Rumble channel in the future, depending on when it comes and what does it look like at that point. And as for right now, I have started to explore World of Warcraft, because now professions and crafting is more of a thing in World of Warcraft. I have played World of Warcraft since release, but I was never really into raiding, mythic plus PvP. I did a bit of each of those, but not really into them. So now, with professions, with crafting being part of the end game in a way that they have never been before, I figured there might be a niche for my kind of content for World of Warcraft as well. So I 
create a World of Warcraft channel. First, I actually tried to put the videos on this channel, but they got a lot of hate, so I made a separate channel for that. On the other hand, it currently has 71 subscribers. I would need to get to a thousand in order to monetize that, so that's a long way to go. But if you enjoy my content and want to support it, then hey, do subscribe to my WoW channel, where I explore quests and reputations and renown and professions, crafting, that sort of stuff of WoW. So in the short term, I will be creating mercenaries videos still of whatever content there is still to come. I will keep creating standard Hearthstone videos on this channel as well. And I'm trying to expand in the world of Warcraft. And then, you know, slightly longer term, Arclight Rumble is something that I am considering. So those are my main plans for the time being. I hope you will still be able to find some interesting content on my channels and check out my World of Warcraft channel too. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members, and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.